But as I was saying, get wisdom, get understanding. If you read the Old Testament, it was never about personal gain. Never about personal gain. You understand? And the thing is, I know everybody has a lustful nature in regards to material things. There's certain things you want in your life. But the world says seek, the word says seek first heavenly things and all else will be added to you. All right. Now let me break this down to you. Let me break it down to you. Seek first heavenly things and all else will be added to you. Seek first heavenly gifts, spiritual gifts, tongues, healing, giving, all these different gifts that the Lord gives. All right. Now watch these big mega church leaders. How many other spiritual gifts are you seeing being utilized? How much of the heavenly things that God says seek after do you see being utilized in their churches? So you can kind of put two and two together. Their financial gain is not necessarily coming from God. It's coming from using God's people. Do you understand? Do you understand? So you'll be seeing some of the heavenly things take place. I guarantee you go to January 3rd and 1st on every last one of these evangelical preachers message. I bet you the majority was talking about this year is going to be a year of prosperity for you. It's like they do it every year. You're going to bring in 2021 and 2021 is going to be a better year, financial gain for you. And it sounds so great. And then the people are going to give so much more. So much more. So much more. They know not what makes them stumble. Did you hear that? They know not what makes them stumble. They know not what keeps them low. Yeah, the Bible gives you discernment. He said, give to whoever asks of them. They want to steal from you. They want to take your cloak. Give them their coat also. But only a fool keep going back to the same person that keeps stealing from him. Do you understand? Only a fool goes back to the same people that's robbing them blind. Does it make sense to you now? They know not what makes them stumble. They know not what makes them stumble. Jesus told it like the Pharisees, you left this unturned. You focus on this part, but you leave the other part out. Do the math. They focus on this part and leave the other parts out. Why? Because it's not about the people. It's about them. They like being worshipped. They like being known worldwide. They like being idolized. It's in their nature. You will know them by their fruits. You know the children of God, and you know the children of the devil. And the thing is, I don't think now one of them started off that way. But the world has a way of coming in and choking the word of God, changing it, manipulating it. It has a way of changing what it's all about into being about something else gradually tricking you confusing you you understand does it make sense to you now what were you expecting to see what were you expecting to see a man clothed in soft raiment what were you expecting to see those type of people live in king's houses what were you expecting to see? I saw one preacher, he's a billionaire. He lead up to his church in a, a motorcade. And then when he pull up at his church, they lay it on the red carpet. What were you expecting to see? What were you expecting to see? A person clothed in soft rain. Those people are in king's houses. What were you expecting to see? 
What are you looking for to see? Name brand on Jesus? What are you expecting to see? Purple robes and gold chains around Jesus' neck and John's neck and his disciples' neck? What were you expecting to see? That's how the Pharisees were. Jesus was not like that. Jesus was not materialistic. His disciples were not materialistic. He said, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these, arrayed like a flower. It's all about status. You understand? The word of God is not about status. It's not about me. It's not about you. Can I pray for a second right now? Lord Jesus, I ask you to touch everybody at the sound of my voice, Lord Jesus. Help them to understand that the word of God is not about materialism. It's not about material gain. It's not about being seen. It's not about being an idol. It's not about being worshipped. It's not about being liked by the world. It's about being loved by you, Lord Jesus, and saved by you. Open our eyes, Lord Jesus, that we're going to churches that are misleading us and not teaching us right. Not teaching us correctly. I ask you to remove us from these churches, Lord Jesus. I ask you to give us the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding to know the difference between a false prophet and a real one. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you understand, people? Everybody likes a good show. But I'm going to tell you one thing. God's house is not for a good show. It's to save souls. This is not carnival. The word of God is not Cirque, Cirque, Cirque de Soleil. It's not a big mega concert. It's more to it than that. Feed my children. Feed my children. Feed my children. Feed them. Let them know the truth. Let them know the truth. If you look at the world today, pay attention. The world is not caring about the poor. They almost turned over in their graves, turned over in their seats trying to give $600 stimulus check to the people. But they'll send $25 billion overseas. Why do you think they do that? Because they give to these countries expecting to receive something in return from these countries. They don't want to help the people because the people can't even help themselves right now. So they don't want to give to the people. Does it make sense to you? The people are in low income right now. They don't want to give, they want to give you just enough to keep you a, a smile on your face. You think $600 can last you through a month? You got the world being shut down. You got Californians that have been shut down for months, almost a year. People in New York, you understand? What well, we're so quick to give 80 million, 80 trillion, all this money overseas. Because it's part of their agenda. One thing you don't realize about the world, they give to those expecting to receive something in return. It's tit for tat. We live in a tit for tat world. They could care less about the poor. They could care less that the COVID-19 is coming on, that's going on. Come to my church. Come to my church still. Give all you have. God will provide. You know what? He will provide. Because the Bible says, let them use you. But the thing is, once your eyes are open, are you going to continue to let somebody use you or defraud you? Are you going to continue to do those things once your eyes are open? Are you going to continue to let the world manipulate you? Or a preacher or your best friend or anybody else? Nobody likes being used. If you read the sermon... So you would know them by their fruits. Once you know somebody by their fruits, you do away with them. What he said, consent not with wicked men and evil matters. Do not lead, go with them. Once you see evil for what it is, evil for what it is, do you run to evil? The Bible tells us to turn away from it, to go away from evil. Once your eyes are open, not to be a part of it anymore. Do you understand? Last year, I'm going to bring up somebody again. Kanye West. It looks so great. It looks so wonderful to see a man give his life over to God. You understand? 
But you got to listen to the interviews. You got to listen to what they speak about. You understand? When they sing and everything, looks hunky dory. When the Bible says know them by their fruits, you got to listen to people. You got to pay attention to them. You got to see what they are really about. You understand? I'm a black man. I'm a black man. But I'm going to tell you something. Every time I look at Kanye West on his airplanes with his people, all I see is black people. This don't send red flags to you? This don't send red flags to you. You understand? This is crazy. I even go to churches sometimes and all I see is black people in a black church. I'm like, this don't send red flags to you. I go to a white church. I see that's about white people. This don't send red flags to you. It looks like you're only catering to a certain demographic. I pay attention to these things. There's so many things you can see in this world if you open your eyes, if you're willing to see them.